Hello everyone, in this video, we will learn basic functions in Adobe Photoshop CS2. Let's start by opening an existing photo. Click on File menu, choose Open, and select the photo. Let's say we want to cut part of the picture which is the island in the middle. So click on the Marquee tool, select the cut shape, rectangle, circle, or oval, then drag on the picture with the left mouse button. You can even reposition or move cut by clocking on the Move tool on the left menu. Now if you want to move the cut island shape to a new file, simply select File. Choose New, to open the file, and drag the shape into the new file. If you want to change the color of the surrounding border, click on Eyedropper tool. To pick the color you want then pick any color. Let's pick beige, or sand color, then click on paint bucket tool and fill or click anywhere in the white space. Select the Paint Bucket tool and fill the white background. You can add text to your picture by clicking on the text button. You can also change the font style, color, and size. Let's choose font size 18. You can also move the text anywhere you want. To deselect the object, click on Select menu and choose Deselect. Note that you can erase part or the whole picture by clicking on the Eraser tool from the left menu. Now let's talk about a very good tool to retouch and fix pictures. The Clone Stamp tool paints one part of an image over another part of the same image, or over another part of any open document that has the same color mode. You can also paint part of one layer, over another layer. The Clone Stamp tool is useful for duplicating objects or removing a defect in an image. To use the Clone Stamp tool, you set a sampling point on the area you want to copy, or clone the pixels from and paint, over another area, to paint with the most current sampling point whenever you stop and resume painting. Select the Aligned option. Deselect the Aligned option to paint starting from the initial sampling point no matter how many times you stop and resume painting. Select the Clone Stamp tool. Choose a brush tip and set brush options for the blending mode, opacity, and flow in the options bar. Set the sampling point by positioning the pointer in any open image and alt clicking for Windows or option clicking for Mac OS. As you can see, by dragging across the shape, you are cloning what is on the left side.
Don't forget to always select the brush size and style when working with clone stamp. Now let's work with layers. Photoshop layers are like sheets of stacked acetate. You can see through transparent areas of a layer, to the layers below. You move a layer to position the content on the layer, like sliding a sheet of acetate in a stack. You can also change the opacity of a layer to make content partially transparent. From the menu above, choose Layers, then Layer Style and Blending Options. Let's apply the bevel and emboss effect and see how the changes affect the picture. We will talk about layers in more detail in the upcoming lessons. Notice how the shape became 3D. Another good tool is the blur tool which blurs or unfocuses image areas. In the toolbox, select the blur tool. Choose brush size and style. Set the tool's strength. Then, drag on the image. The last one for today is the smudge tool. The tool picks up color where the stroke begins and pushes it in the direction you drag. Select the smudge tool. Choose a brush tip and options for the blending mode in the options bar. Then, drag in the image to smudge the pixels. We hope you enjoy this lesson. Thank you and see you in the next lesson.